Now, we solved some problems which are given in uh, previous year GATE as well as the CSR. Now, the first question which is came from the GATE 2019, GATE 2019 for one marker. So, the question is the delta over values of nickel H2O 6 times plus 2 is 8500 centimeter inverse. Then, delta over values for nickel Cl4 minus 2 and nickel H2O 6 times plus 2. So, here three different ligands are present. Uh, now, one ligand values are there given. Find the these two values. So, they are not correct number, either increasing or decreasing manner. So, either higher or lower, lower or higher, both lower, both are higher. Now, we know that. Uh, the ligand nature is directly proportional to the crystal field stabilization energy. That means a uh, crystal field splitting energy, which is nothing but a uh, crystal field stabilization energy. So CFSE value directly proportional to the ligand nature. Whenever strong field ligands are more and more energy when compared to the weak field ligands. Now we know that uh, the, these three different ligands uh, which are in a order from the spectrochemical series. Now chloride ion is less than that of water. Water is less than that of uh, like uh, ammonia. Ammonia. So in these two cases, they are given in the water molecule. One is lower, another one is higher. They are respectively. So now water means water splitted like this. It have uh, this energy is eight thousand five hundred. This is regarding to the water. Now another one is uh, chlorine. Another one is ammonia. So, ammonia is higher than the water, but chlorine is lower than that. So, they are given in the respective manner. First, chlorine. Chlorine is lower than when compared to water. And ammonia is higher than when compared to water. So, now it is B. Option B. Very easier. Whenever you see the question, within 5 seconds, you answer that question. You answer that question. 5 to 10 seconds more than enough. Now, we will go with the second problem. So, before going to the second problem, I will give this uh, a small hint uh, regarding to the spectrochemical series. Whenever, so the donor atoms are halogens or oxygen or sulfur atoms, then those ligands are weak field ligands. Those ligands are weak field ligands. But uh, whenever the donor atoms are carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, phosphorus then those are called strong field ligands those are called strong field ligands generally water ammonia all are the strong field ligands now ammonia exceptional case that's why i will write the i will write the middle of the spectrochemical series so now question number two question number two the magnitude of the magnitude of the difference in the crystal field stabilization energy is in delta O. We are ignoring the pairing energy. Now, iron H2O 6 times plus 2 and FeCN 6 minus 4. So, now, what is the difference between the their crystal field stabilization energies in between the two complexes? Now, Fe H2O 6 times plus 2. That means, uh, here Fe present at plus 2 oxidation state, then that means D6. According to the crystal field stabilization energy, they are 6 electrons. So, 6 electrons are uh, filled in case of a weak field ligands uh, in this manner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means uh, T2G4 is 2. T2G4 is 2. Then the CFSE value is T2G4 means 4, 4 is 16, 2 6 are 12. 16 minus 12, that is nothing but minus 0 0.4 delta O. They are asked in delta O, that's why we are calculated in delta O. So here this is the delta O value is minus 0 0.4. Now here Fe is N6 minus 4 means Fe plus 2 D6 configuration. But here cyanide is a strong field ligand. Cyanide is a strong field ligand. That's why the pair up uh, takes place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means T2G6 uh, is 0. The CFSE value is 6, 4, jar. 2.4 minus 2.4 delta O. So now they are asking about uh, the difference between the these two. Difference between the these two. Generally minus 2.4 2.4 minus of minus like uh, minus 0 0.4. That means uh, 2.4. Generally the symbols are not needed. So 2.4. Minus 0 0.4. Those symbols are below the barrier center, above the barrier center. That's why 2.4 minus 0 0.4. That means 2.0. Uh, 2.0. They are given in the range 1.9 to 2.1. 2.0. 2 
So this is also a great question which is came from 2016. Now we discussed about a, a small CSIR question. Now the third question in this session is the complex FT taken uh, phenanthylene taken twice and CS minus taken twice. It shows a spin crossover behavior. Not that point. Spin crossover behavior. So. Uh, Crystal field stabilization energy and uh, magnetic momentum at 250 Kelvin temperature and 150 Kelvin temperature or respectively. So they are asking about a uh, different temperature crystal field stabilization energy and magnetic momentum. Now the spin crossover point means it changes with the temperature. The magnetic momentum changes with the temperature. So the, the, the magnetic momentum temperature plot was uh, drawn now here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the magnetic momentum. This is the temperature. Now here 150, 200, 250, around 250, 300. Now what we observed according to the data, it, it is it having the crossover, spin crossover, spin crossover. Now at 175, it shown large crossover point. So according to data, it is a large crossover point. Uh, it is this data not given in the question, but according to data, it is 175 large crossover section we observed. Now that means uh, here low spin complexes it act as a low temperature. At low temperature it act as a low spin. High temperature it act as a high spin. Not that point. We know that it is low spin, low temperature, high spin, high temperature. Now here two cases are there. One at highest temperature, high temperature means 250 Kelvin temperature. It act as a high spin. Now the complex uh, molecule is iron, iron configuration is a 3s2, 3d6, sorry 4s2, 3d6. Now it is existed in plus 2 oxidation state that means 3d6. So according to crystal field uh, stabilization energy, 3d6 electrons uh, can contribute like this, can pair uh, like this. That means T2g6 uh, is e 2 so now the CFSE value is equal to 6, T2g4 e is 2 now 4 4s are 16, 2 6s are 12. That means uh, minus 0 0.4 delta O, minus 0 0.4 delta O. Now here, 1, 2, 3, 4 unpaired electron, the magnetic momentum is equal to 4.9 Bohr magneton. 4.9 Bohr magneton. Now in the second case, so at low temperature, that means 150 Kelvin, it acts as a strong field ligand. That's why iron plus 2 D6 configuration splitted like this. And each and every electron paired at T2G level only. Now fourth, fifth, sixth. Then configuration is the T2G6 is 0. That means the CFSC value is equal to 6 4 0 minus 24 minus 2.4 in delta O. Minus 2.4 delta O. There is no unpaired electron. If n is equal to 0, then magnetic momentum is equal to the 0 BM. So now at higher temperature, 0 0.4 delta O, 4.9 BM. At lower temperature, 2.4 and 0. 0 bore magneton. This is the first option. First option is correct in our question. Okay. If you like the video, please share and subscribe it. Thank you for watching.